Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today I'll show you how to do some work coordinate system uh, changes. We'll be adding work coordinate systems for four different operations on the same part. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our part. It is rectangular with a pocket on one side, a hole on one side, and another hole offset on the other. So we want multiple work coordinate systems for this part for our uh, various operations. So we hit duplicate, we call it 200 for op 2, we edit it, we click on the center, we can click on the center of that hole, and then we change our Z to be facing out towards us. Okay. Hit the check mark, click on G, there we go. We actually want to put that on the corner because that will be easiest to touch off on. There we go, hit the check mark. So OP2, work coordinate system is in place. Next, hit duplicate, we'll call it 300. We edit the work coordinate system, click on the center. Go to our next face we want to machine. Which is this side with this hole. And after that, we make sure our Z is pointing the correct direction. Hit the check mark. Click on G. And there we go. We touch off that corner. That's our next recording system. All right, we're going to do it again. Hit duplicate. Call it 400 for op 4. You don't have to call it 400, but that's just a good way of keeping track. Just put something down so you know which operation it's for. You could call it 4. And click on that corner, change our Z. There we go. Click on G. There it is. Now we also want to change our X and Y. So we'll be holding in the, the part so it's more parallel to our jaws. Click check mark, click on the G. And there we go. So we have ops 100, 200, 300, and 400, or op 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we go to levels and we can make level 100 so we click so we click our work coordinate system 100 and then level 100 will be everything for op 100 so you, and then you go to toolpaths and you label your toolpath 100 so you know exactly what's going on when you click on your work coordinate system next you go to 300 activate level 300 then you can go to toolpath 300 and this is just a really good way of keeping track of everything especially when you have like six or seven ops and tons of levels and lots of toolpaths and you want to go back and see what you did before this is just a simple way it doesn't take much time to to check things out okay so that's our video today I hope it was helpful uh, subscribe for more videos and uh, we'll catch you later